G'day, it's Steve here from Fortress Learning. In this bite-sized tutorial, I'm going to talk about assessment instruments and methods, as well as marking guides and what they're used for. In the vocational education and training sector, assessment instruments identify the methods or activities that have been prepared to evaluate and measure a learner's skills and knowledge performance in relation to specific vocational competencies. Assessment instruments are designed to assess a student's ability to apply practical skills and theoretical knowledge relevant to their chosen trade or job role. Common assessment instruments and methods of assessment used in the Australian Vocational Education and Training System include direct observation. These instruments are used by assessors to observe and assess a student's performance of specific tasks or skills in a workplace or simulated environment, for example, a cafe. The assessor will have a checklist of steps or tasks that a learner would need to demonstrate to show that they can perform a task to a satisfactory standard, like safely operating a coffee machine. Another common assessment method is knowledge questions. These assessment instruments include instructions to the learner and activities like written or oral questioning, or other types of quizzes to assess the student's knowledge related to their vocational area such as industry regulations, industry standards, or technical knowledge. The assessment instruments for product-based methods include instructions to learners about what they would need to do in order to demonstrate their practical skills. This would involve performing tasks relevant to their trade or industry area, such as conducting repairs on an item or preparing samples of work or products. These methods are not necessarily directly observed by the assessor, but may be evaluated later against a list of required criteria that needs to be met by the learner. The Evidence Portfolio Assessment Instrument should provide detailed instructions to the students for putting together a collection of their work samples, projects, or evidence of their achievements and skills developed over time. The portfolio may ask for evidence such as written documents, photographs, videos, or even logbooks. This evidence would be evaluated by the assessor after submission. In summary, an assessment instrument documents the methods and activities that have been prepared to evaluate and measure a learner's skills and knowledge and captures the evidence needed to determine competence. Assessment instruments must include enough information to ensure that the candidate is clear about the assessment process. This would typically include what is being assessed, the assessment methods being used, any WHS considerations that may affect the assessment, clear instruction to the student about what they need to do, what evidence needs to be gathered and submitted, and the decision-making process. Now let's look at marking guides, also known as assessor guides. The marking guide is a companion document to the assessment instrument that's used by assessors to help ensure that consistent and reliable assessment decisions are being made, regardless of who the assessor is. The marking guide is generally a mirror of the assessment instrument, but it contains additional information and instructions to assist the assessors. This includes benchmark or model answers and performance requirements, depending on what method of assessment is being used. For direct observation, the marking guide for the observer checklist will contain benchmark examples of the level and quality of performance that the student is expected to demonstrate for each specific task. It may also have examples of things that are not considered to be satisfactory. In the Knowledge Questions Marking Guide, benchmark or model answers are provided to the assessor, which may be either the exact response required, for example, multiple choice questions, a model response. This is where a written response may be required and candidates may answer the question differently but still achieve the outcome. It may also include examples of acceptable answers that come from a greater list of possible responses. Now this is where the benchmark answer instructions may say, may include, but not limited to these examples. Product-based assessment marking guides are similar to an observation checklist as they still list all of the criteria that would need to be demonstrated by the candidate. Though in this method, it's through the product they have submitted for assessment. The checklist would also include any associated levels of quality or quantity that are expected.
Now, rather than direct observation, the assessor would use the checklist to evaluate the evidence after it has been submitted. A marking guide for a portfolio may not differ much, if at all, from the assessment instrument and instructions that have been provided to the learner about what should be submitted in the evidence portfolio, including quality and quantity. The assessor would use these same details and instructions to evaluate the evidence that has been submitted and make the assessment decision. As you can see, marking guides are an important part of the assessment process that helps assessors to ensure fair, reliable and consistent assessment judgments to be made. Thanks for watching and if a career as a trainer in vocational education is something you're interested in, contact Fortress Learning to see just how you can get started.